Welcome back to Technique Tuesday. This is BaldwinFeed.com, and today we're gonna to talk about different handholds when doing a cross-body lead in salsa. A cross-body lead is when I open up to get out of the way and she passes by me, right? If we do one time, maybe facing you here, she's gonna stay on this slot or this track as I get out of the way and she moves towards you, right? So what we're gonna do real quick is we're gonna do different ways like we can hold each other while we do said cross-body lead. Obviously the way we just did it, we were in dance position. I maintained this dance position. As we do this cross body lead, I just open up and nothing too crazy changes. Obviously I could hold on with two hands, not a dance position. I can open up and get out of the way, keep these two hands and dance across by lead in a two hand hold, right? It does help a little bit if I bring this hand through to keep her moving forward, um, but not not necessary all the time, you know? The next one is a handshake hold. So I could just hold my right hand to her right hand, do the same cross body lead, and just have this handshake hold as we go and move through. I could just now hold with my left hand to her right hand and have a single hand hold as we go through. And naturally I could do it on the other hand too, my right to her left as oh, I bring her through. Oh, awkward. It's not as comfortable, but, and not as common, but it's not like I couldn't do it, you know? So I could hold either hand individually. I could hold a cross and a handshake hold. I could technically do a handshake hold with the left hand. I could hold with both hands. Or I could take it in dance position. Even more advanced, some other patterns ask you to cross the hands. So I can do a double handshake hold, my right to her right, my left to her left, and I dance a cross body lead with this cross hand hold. Still bringing the hands out in front of me again too, because maybe I want to set up some kind of pattern from here I don't know, it could be like, like face loops or something that I want to do. It's just to basically show you that pretty much any handhold that you may find yourself in in salsa because there's a lot of hand changes. Sure. You can always use the cross body lead with these hand holds, just leading it a little bit differently depending on how you're in it. Yeah. But it works either way and it's really good to transition from kind of pattern to pattern. Yeah. A more advanced way would be to kind of guide you with her hips. There'll be certain patterns where it would go from the hips. In this case, I would need to have my hands above my head or around my head to make it so he can do this. So that's a little more advanced, but that's definitely another option. Yeah, it's nice to feel like I have a really basic pattern that I can now mix up and not feel like I only have to do it this one way. Me even just changing hands opens it up a lot and then I can use that transition to get into the same other turns and just make a lot of variations out of the same basic patterns that we all do. And later we'll show you kind of variations to make the crossbody lead more exciting in itself. But that's sure. a great introduction on how to play with the crossbody lead in the basic step mm -hmm. with just changing the hands a little bit. So please help us out, like this video, comment other things you want us to do Technique Tuesdays on, and check out baldwinfeed.com. We have hundreds of videos on there.